What's good, peeps? Thanks always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button. If you guys are new, don't forget as well, please to like and share the vids. Again, thanks to everyone that's doing that. You can also support the channel as well. I do have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. All right. Devastating news yesterday, right? Devastating. The death of um, a legend, an icon, uh, one of my heroes growing up in Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and the other occupants of that helicopter. Just, um, yeah, just devastating. Devastating. Um, I actually, I actually hoped it was one of those kind of fake news hoax. You know, fucking people just put so much crap online. And when I saw it, I thought, please tell me it's fake news or just something stupid like that, that someone had, I don't know, got, I don't know, something. Um, and then it just got worse, right? You, you heard it was Kobe Bryant. Then you heard it was his 13-year-old daughter, the who we routinely see with him courtside. And then obviously the, all the other occupants as well. And the numbers started to get bigger and bigger. First it was like three, then five, then nine. It's just like, fuck, life. Life. Fucking hell, you genuinely are not promised tomorrow, no matter who you are, right? Rich, poor, no matter who you are, you're not promised tomorrow. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know that means then go out and just enjoy yourself like you're not promised tomorrow. I don't know what it means. Uh, one thing I do know is it means you should, um, I don't know, I know everyone's saying it, but it's true. Reach out to people that you might be arguing with for something really small, people that you might not have checked in on, like um, family, friends, obviously. Just, um, just shocking, isn't it? Just shocking. Just shocking. Um, all right, let's talk boxing anyway. Um, Eddie Hearn, in a recent interview, I think it was with IFL TV, has uh, caused a bit of a stir by saying, if Anthony Joshua were to fight Tyson Fury, that fight would happen in Saudi Arabia, or that fight is more likely to happen in Saudi Arabia, sorry. Obviously, that's, um, that's pissed off a few people, right? Um... For us UK fans, it would easily be the biggest fight in UK boxing history. Like, easily. I can't even think of what would come close to it, if I'm honest with you. It would easily be the biggest, especially if they were to fight now, right? If Joshua picks up a couple more losses and Tyson Fury gets, I don't know, knocked out by Wilder, then it maybe loses its luster. But right now, it's still a very, very big fight. And not just for UK boxing fans, I guess for world boxing fans, it's a huge fight. So you would like to think that a fight of that magnitude for British fans can be held in Britain, right? Without getting patriotic, you'd like to think that two Brits could fight in one of the biggest stadiums in the world, in Wembley Stadium, and it will pack it out and the atmosphere would just be, I mean, come on, do I even need to tell you what the atmosphere would be like? It would be incredible. The problem is, Saudi Arabia right now are offering bucket loads of money to stage events. It's not just boxing. I mean, there's numerous events that go on in and around that region right now, and they're paying for the privilege of having those events there. Um, a lot of people are screaming boxing, boxing. It's not just boxing, it's tennis, it's football, it's athletics. I mean, we saw the recent world championships in Doha where runners are bloody winning world championship gold medals to empty stadiums, and it, and it was embarrassing. So um, this is a, a sport thing. It's not just a, a boxing thing. A lot of people have signaled out boxing as to why is it only happening to boxing. It really isn't, people. It's happening to all sports. I guess the problem for us, especially when it comes to this fight, is that boxing doesn't have like um, an FA Cup final, right? Or an NBA seven game or an NFL final. Um, you can't imagine, who knows, but you can't imagine the FA Cup ever going to Qatar. I mean, God forbid, right? But you can't imagine it. You can't imagine, although the NBA have some games outside of America, you can't imagine just accepting that the NBA finals, the game, the final game, if it was, imagine it was a free free and it was going to a seventh game, that game happening in Saudi Arabia. You cannot imagine, and America just would not accept the NFL final going to Saudi Arabia. Boxing's slightly different, obviously, because it doesn't build up like that. But that is our Super Bowl. Joshua versus Tyson Fury is our version of the Super Bowl. And it looks like our version of the Super Bowl could go to Saudi Arabia. Could go. They're just offering money that the UK can't compete with right now. And that's what it comes down to. That, that's the problem, right? I think if it was a case of, say, I don't know, Eddie Hearn went up to Joshua and said, look, you have the fight in UK, you get paid 
This is just hypothetical, by the way. You have the fight in the UK, you get paid 10 million. Saudi Arabia wishing to, or willing, sorry, to pay you 13. Joshua would probably have the fight in the UK, same as Fury. The problem is, and this is what Eddie Hearn is trying to get at, is that you go to Joshua and Fury and you say, okay, you have the fight in the UK, we'll give you 10 to 15 million. Saudi is saying 40. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do for everyone that's upset? What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to say, no, no, the fight has to be in the UK for my British fans. I'm willing to take a discount of 25 to 20 million. Just ain't going to happen. Just isn't going to happen. So um, I don't know. I mean, I know people were giving Eddie Hearn stick, but Eddie Hearn wouldn't be a promoter. And I wouldn't employ him as my promoter if he didn't come to the table with that offer for me. If he didn't even mention that Saudi are willing to pay you nearly triple what you could get to have the fight in Saudi rather than the UK. It's wooden. And it's not like Tyson Fury or AJ are going to say, oh, no, have to have the fight in the UK. What? Have to. They're taking that money. They're taking that Saudi money and pocketing it. And that's it. Nothing can be done about it. I guess the scary thing going forward for us sort of UK fight fans is that where does it stop? Where does it stop? Is it a case of, I don't know, they look at most top fights and say, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, or what? Chisora versus, yeah, we'll take that, please, if you don't mind. Dillian White versus, yep, yeah, bit of that for me. Where, where does it stop? Do you know what I mean? Obviously, that's an exaggeration. I'm, I'm sure they won't take every fight, every top fight anyway, but who knows, right? They might start, literally start taking things. They might just start taking it because they can. Um, I was there for the Ruiz Joshua fight. And I will say this though, um, and I say this because of um, the fans and the noise being made at athletics and tennis games, which is pretty much non-existent. The atmosphere for Joshua Ruiz was pretty damn good. The Brits obviously flew out. It wasn't a lot. I'd say of the 15,000, it was a 15,000 capacity. I'd say about 5,000 were Brits. The rest was of locals, but I say locals, it was of Brits that are now based in Saudi as well. So, I mean, you do get a good atmosphere, but obviously you're not going to get anything like Wembley or the O2 Arena. But um, again, what can, what can Eddie do? What can Eddie do? Right? I mean, again, this money that they're offering is ridiculous. And I've always said fighters need to get paid. Fighters need to get paid. They're getting paid now and we're moaning. You can't have it both ways, right? We're screaming that they should get paid, screaming, screaming, screaming. Um, they're getting paid and we're moaning that, well, the fight's not in the UK. Look, if I'm honest with you, some of these fights, I don't give a fuck where they are. I'd be, I'd be straight. I'd be straight. I really don't care where they are. I just want them to happen. It gets silly when I do think that we moan about where these fights are. Can they just happen, please? Can they just happen? That's all I care about right now because... We're in a situation where so many fights aren't being made. The last thing I'm going to complain about as a boxing fan is that the fight didn't take place where I wanted it to take place, if I'm honest with you. Yes, I would absolutely love to see AJ versus Tyson Fury in the UK. And yes, I think that fight should happen in the UK because it's just a UK blockbuster. And it would be a travesty, a travesty with a capital T if that fight happened in Saudi Arabia. But if it was a choice between that fight not happening at all because of a lack of big money and that fight happening in Saudi Arabia, I'm sorry, go to Saudi and fight immediately. Immediately, please. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? I know people are upset, but what do you think about it? And can you understand the logic of them guys just saying, you know, we want the most money, Saudi are paying it. What can we do? What can we fucking do, people? Anyway, let me know. Peace.